What's up you guys, Jedi Master Josh here, and today we have the brand new Paldea Collection boxes. These came out as sets of three, so you get Quaxley, Sprigatito, and Fuecoco, the newest starter Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet, but you also get some Jumbo cards in here, and there's two different kinds of Jumbo cards. We're going to check all those out here in just a second, but what's really cool about these is that these are going to include the first Scarlet and Violet Pokemon cards which is kind of crazy because Scarlet and Violet doesn't come out for like two more months, two and a half more months, something like that. March 31st should be the release of Scarlet and Violet. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We've got Fuecoco, Quaxley, Sprigatito, and then in the back here we have a Maridon EX, so we get to check out our first EX card. Let's go ahead and just get cracking right into these boxes. We're going to open all three in this video. We'll start with Quaxley, we'll move on to Sprigatito, and we'll save Foy Coco for last. Foy Coco was my choice in starter. Let me know what your guys' choice for the starter was in Scarlet and Violet down in the comments. Leave a like on this video and let me know what you guys think about Scarlet and Violet as a whole. I love the games. I think they've been great. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with the TCG. But here we have Maridon EX, the first EX cards that we've been able to get our hands on, but they are jumbos. Now you'll notice there is no energy cost on the attack here, and there's also no set number down here on the card either. So some people are calling this an error. I don't know if it's an error. I'm pretty sure this was done intentionally because nothing was set in stone yet. But really cool jumbos that we have to start us off. And then we also get four packs. The pack selection's awesome. Silver Tempest and Brilliant Stars. And then the final piece here is going to be this wonderful pin. Now, each one of these boxes is only $20. So if you can find them at your local, you know, Walmart, Target, or LGS or something like that, they should only be $20. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll start with Brilliant Stars and we'll do We'll do them back and forth, but we'll go with Brilliant Stars, starting with Charizard, too. Let's see if we can get something good. Now, Brilliant Stars is a set that I've pulled pretty much all the cards from, but I would be... Oh, there we go. We get to see the code card a little bit too early, but there's a code card for you guys. Let me know what you get, and we're just going to go ahead and rifle through this one pretty quick because we know we didn't get it. Oh, so that code card was wrong. We got a little, uh, a little bit of a dupe. I mean, well, we got duped, but... And there we go, we also get a choice belt. All right, well, so I guess white code cards could be hit still. We start off with a Kingler V, not too bad. I want to kind of run through these a little bit quick today, you guys. But we will go ahead and sleeve stuff up. We'll put it up in the pull pool, and we're going to get through these as fast as possible. We have, what is it, 12 packs to go through. So it's not too many, but it's still enough that, you know, we, we kind of we want to get through them, right? So let's go ahead and dig into Silver Tempest here. But like I was saying, the interesting thing about these cards is we are getting our first Scarlet and Violet Pokemon cards. So to get, you know, Scarlet and Violet cards this early when it's two and a half months still away, let's say Lightning Energy, and we get a Metal Energy, okay. But, you know, two and a half months away. Two and a half months until Scarlet and Violet releases for us on March 31st, and somehow we're getting promos for Scarlet and Violet early, but I'm pretty cool with it. You know, we've got Victini there for the rear Let's see if we can get something a little better from these next packs. We did start with a, an ultra rare pull. We can't be too upset. But here we have Charizard in the next pack. Yeah, and so Scarlet and Violet has been a super fun game. I'm really excited to see what the TCG has to bring us. We're getting these EXs and Terrastal EXs. There's been a bunch of releases uh, talking about, you know, Gyarados has been the first Terrastal EX that has been confirmed. Let's say a Fire Energy. We got Water Energy. Okay, we'll take a Water Energy. We've got ourselves Monferno, Bear Tick, Clink, Daydene, Cub Chew, Duskull, Farfetch, the reverse is a Grimer, and the rare is a Holographic Torterra. Not too bad. You can't be too mad when you get a evolution of a starter, right? And it's still, we're still happy with that. We've got our final pack of Silver Tempest for this first box. The first box being, I think we went with Quaxley first, right? Yeah, I think we went with Quaxley first. I'm already forgetting which box we opened first, but all right. Let's get through this final pack for you guys. There's a code card. Let me know when you get th from those code cards. Let's see if we can get something good from this pack here. How about, what haven't we said? Psychic? Psychic. Okay, <laughs> lightning. There we go. But like I was saying, you guys, if you can get these, they're $20 a piece. And to get four packs in them, a bunch of promos, and a pin, it's actually a really good deal. So definitely make sure you find some of these and get a hold of a, at least, hey, check that out. Archaeops, that's not a bad pull. You know, when you get a holographic rare, you want to kind of be upset about it, but not when it's an Archaeops. It's a very playable card. 
yeah, definitely get your guys' hands on a couple of these boxes at least. I mean, every time one of these new sets comes out and they release, you know, these partner collections or first partner collections, whatever you want to call them, they usually turn out to be a pretty cool little collector item. So whether or not you want to open one of these to at least have one in your collection would probably still be pretty cool. And at $20 a piece, it's still a really reasonable price. But definitely some really great pack selections as well. I mean, Brilliant Stars is, in my opinion, going to be touted as probably one of the best sets from Sword and Shield. One of the things I didn't mention, actually, is as you get into these boxes separately, the promo for each specific box. So Sprigatito here. Let me get this. Uh, I didn't take these out yet. But that Sprigatito there is different from that Sprigatito there. And this Quaxley is different from this Quaxley. So you have to get one of each of the boxes to get all of the promos basically so kind of not super fun but either way you still get all the promos that way but here's the other ex we get you get maridon and Coridon. again gonna be missing that energy cost and the set number still not sure if you'd consider that an error or not but let me know what you guys think let's go ahead and toss that off to the side we'll get these packs out and we'll dig right in we're going to do it the opposite order this time we're going to do silver tempest and then brilliant stars but last thing to check out here i love these pins when you get these little pins i've been collecting all these pins let me know what you guys think about the pins but they're definitely awesome little pins and we got Sprigatito, we've got Quaxley in here soon we're going to have a Fue Coco so the collection continues to grow. So we're going to go ahead and do this like I said in the opposite order we did it last time. Silver Tempest, then Brilliant Stars. Let's see what we can get. All right. Here's a code card for you guys. Let me know what you get from those code cards like I said before. Do four to the front. How about a Fighting Energy? I think I Okay, no. It, I almost felt like it almost felt like I put five to the front on accident, but we didn't. We did not. We got lucky there. We've got a Fampy, Fletchling. The reverse is a Zubat. We are hunting trainer galleries, so if we can get some more trainer galleries, that would be great. Behind it, we have a Milotic. Or is it a Milotic or Milotic? How do you pronounce it? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, we're moving into Brilliant Stars here now. Here's something else that's changing with Scarlet and Violet is the borders on the cards. So all these yellow borders are going to be changing. It's going to be silver borders from now on. I think this code card is backwards. Yep, so there's a code card for you guys. And let me know what you get from it. We'll do one, two, three, and four. And we'll go to the front. How about a, what haven't we said, dark energy? There we go. We get one guess the energy. If we only get one guess the energy in the whole video, that's good enough. We, we take that. We've got Chimeco, Electabuzz, Bidoof, Bidoof, Sneasel, Grimer. That's not the reverse. There's Torterra, our reverse. And the rare is a Heatran, a legendary Pokemon. So you can't be too upset when you get a legendary Pokemon, right? All right, we're moving into our penultimate pack for this box. Second to last, we got Silver Tempest Lugia on the pack card. It'd be great if we could pull a Lugia. Now, a little secret that I hate admitting is I've only pulled two Lugia Vs and two Lugia V stars ever when opening Silver Tempest. So we got to pull a couple more of those. Let's let's see if we can get one today. We're going to do four to the front. How about Water Energy? We've got a Dark Energy, two two Dark Energies in a row, actually. So we got a Wallace, Venomoth, Curlia, Baltoy, Beldum, Murkrow. Let's see if we can get a Trainer Gallery, maybe? No, we get a Reverse Krogunk and a Zygarde. All right, so we kind of struck out for a Lugia there. But you know what? After this box, we have a whole nother box. So let's see what we get out of this last pack of the box. Then we can dig into the final box of this opening. Like I said, let me know if you guys have found these boxes or if you plan on getting them or what you think about Scarlet and Violet or anything. What's your what's your favorite starter from Scarlet and Violet? Anything Pokemon related, let me know in the comments down below. If you wouldn't mind liking this video and subscribing, let's say a Leaf Energy. We get a Metal Energy. Okay. Well, I mean, like and subscribe anyways, right? <laughs> We've got Bear Tick, Trap Inch, Piplup, Shroomish, Purloin, Duskull... Piplup for the reverse. We still haven't gotten a trainer gallery, but we got to get at least one. Behind this, we have an Al Creamy. All right, so that box was a little bit of a dud. We didn't get any pulls out of that box, but this was my choice of starter from Scarlet and Violet, Fue Coco. My, my favorite starter from Scarlet and Violet. So hopefully saving him for last is gonna, what's going to save us, you know, the luck. We're going to get all the luck right here from Fue Coco. Come on. 
The you know the big reason why I love Foy Coco is he's basically just a fire Totodile, and Totodile is my favorite Pokemon. So we gotta love our buddy Foy Coco there. There he is. The final unique promo from these boxes, and then we have another Coridon. We've already looked at this. Look at how shiny it is, though. Holy cow! I can see it like glaring off the wall next to me. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. So let's get our packs out of here. We're gonna dig right in. We gotta. We gotta pull something. At least something a little better than just a Kingler V. Let's take a look at our buddy Fue Coco the pin. This one, I think, is actually going to go on my bag. This one's definitely going on my bag, okay? I have two of them already. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I opened another Fue Coco box just just for the pin already. <laughs> We're going to start with Silver Tempest again, and then we'll do both the Brilliant Stars, and we'll save the final Silver Tempest for last. All right, let's see what we can get here. We've got a code card for you guys. Let me know what you get from those code cards. We got one, two, three, and four. Let's see if we can guess one more energy. How about a fighting energy? We get a water energy, okay. Water energy is okay, we can take that. We've got Sigilyph, Golbat, Mischievous, Swablu, Swirlix, Rotom, no trainer gallery, but behind Dragapult we get a Keldeo, which just came out in Pokemon Go, actually. It was behind a $7.99 paywall, but it did just come out in Pokemon Go, if you guys didn't know about that. So we've got our two packs here, and look at that. We are definitely saving Silver Tempest for last because it's got Lugia. We've got two Shaman. Let's see what Shaman has in store for us. Shaman's a mythical Pokemon too, so hopefully he's got something good for us. Here we go. We've got, I think, yep, so all the code cards are going to be backwards in these. So there's a code card for you. We'll throw that off to the side. One, two, three, and four. And what are we going to say this time? How about a, what haven't we said? We've said bunches of things. Psychic. Okay, fire <laughs> fire for a Charizard. Fire, fire for Charizard. Let's see if we can get fire for Charizard. We got Piplup, Shroomish, maybe a Trainer Gallery. I, okay, no Trainer Gallery and, and no Charizard. <laughs> All right. We've got two packs left, you guys. Please do leave a like on the video. Let me know what you guys think about the videos. I'll have tons more videos coming out. Like I said, we're hunting trainer galleries. I only have a couple from Brilliant Stars left to get, and then I have a bunch of other ones from Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, and Silver Tempest. So there's a code card for you guys. That code card was actually going the right way. I didn't even think about it, but yeah, that was going the right way. Okay, how about fighting energy? We get another fire energy. Okay, this is round two. We got fire for Charizard, round two, and a magma basin, so that has to be a good sign. Did we just get two core fish? I wasn't even Chimchar. No trainer gallery, but behind this Mincino, we have probably the best hit of all. Um, okay, we take a Mimic UV. All right, we take a Mimic U. Actually, you know what? I really like Mimic U. It's so funny. His story is kind of like what's underneath the cloak is so hideous that he dresses himself up like Pikachu because Pikachu is, you know, everyone's favorite and he wants to be loved like Pikachu. Poor guy. All right, let's get into our final pack here last pack magic wish us some luck we've got silver tempest lugia on the pack art let me know what you guys think about these boxes if you plan on getting a couple or if you got some really good pulls from them let me know in the comments also i'd love to know about it let's have a chat down there in the comments below here's the final code card of the video for you do let me know what you get from those code cards we're going to do four to the front and I think I'll guess a V-Star marker on this. So, hey, would you check it out? We get the last guess. Okay, forgive me. All right, we got Duosian. Dan Donphan? Danfon. I almost said Danfon. We got Spinarak. Drowsy. Can we at least get one? No. Okay, so no trainer galleries. But behind this Duosian, we will be ending on a... Another holographic Archeops. You know what? I take this. We'll take a holographic Archeops. Thank you guys again for checking out this video, and I will see you in the next one.